Welcome to the course on introduction to R software. In this lecture, I am simply going to explain you that how you should follow this course. One thing what you have to keep in mind that we are going to learn a software language. So unless and until you execute it on the software, you will not understand it. Well, in case if you are sitting in my class, I can always instruct you, I can always request you to do something and I can check it. But here it is not possible. So that is why we have to follow certain rules and I will be recording my lectures following the same rules. So first slide will be something like the title page that you can see here. And you can see here one thing that I can also write on this screen. Right, so that is the advantage what I have here. For example, if I want to write my name, I can write down with a special pen. Right, so after this, you have to understand few things. The slides will have rather four colors. One is here red, with which I would try to give the headings. And then something will be in blue color courier new font. This means these are the syntax and commands which are available in R and I have simply copied from the R software, from say R software, right. And when you are doing a course, you can always copy whatever is written in blue and you can paste it on your R software to execute it directly. And with this black color font, means I would try to write down the usual expressions. So that means whatever is written here in black color Calibri font, they are the usual expressions which you simply have to read and understand. For example, suppose I want to tell you that what is the use of equality sign and this sign which is less than and hyphen sign. So I will try to write down here a statement for example the assignment operators are the left arrow with dash and equal sign. So whatever I have written here in black this is only a statement. And whatever I have written here in say blue color courier new font, these are the instructions or commands in R. For example, if I try to write a sentence like this one, so this means this is the instruction and this is a simple sentence which you have to read and this has to be inside the R program. Right, and same thing is here. And beside those things you can see, I will be using here a green color pen, something like, like this. So green color means I am trying to write down something on the screen. And then in case if something is continuing on the next slide, then the title of the slide will continue. And once I have uh, shown you some syntax, then I will try to show you that what will be the outcome on the R console and I try to copy here. For example, here I simply have copied the command or copied the output from say R software. And after this, now for example, if I try to write down that y is equal to x star 2, this assigns the value 2 star x to y. That means whatever I have written here in black color, they are the statements and whatever now I am trying to write down with the green color, this I am trying to explain you, right and similarly here, right. Now whatever I will execute in the R software called as R console, this I will try to copy and paste over here, you see I will try to show you and whatever I am 
doing this I will try to show you on the R software also for example like this. For example, I will first I try to copy x is equal to 20 and I come to here R software and here I try to paste it. So, I can get here x equal to 20 and then I come to my next command. I simply try to copy and paste in the R software and then I copy another command and I try to show it over here. I simply paste it here. So, now you can see here I am getting the value of here x like this, y like this and z like this. And whatever is this outcome that you can see inside this R software, I try to take a screenshot and I try to paste it in your slides also. For example, you can see here. Right. So, this screenshot will help you in knowing that whatever I am doing it here, you can also copy it. So, what you have to do? You simply have to start listing my lecture and whatever I am doing, you simply have to copy it on your own computer. And believe me, unless and until you try to execute the same commands with your own hand on your own computer, it will be very difficult for you to understand the syntax and language of our software. So, this is how we are going to learn the R software in the course. So, have fun and enjoy the learning and we will see you in the next lecture with a formal start of course. Till then, goodbye.